niche time because it's just money, right? Hi Forum, my name is Manny, aka Cascade Sense. I'm not a fragrance expert, just a fragrance enthusiast, so if you are at all interested in perfume, cologne, or just fragrance in general, then this might be the channel for you. Of course, this video is on my niche fall fragrances this year, but before we get into that, as always, 500 likes and a random one of you subscribers in the comments will be their lucky recipient of an assorted niche fragrance sample pack. So in order to be eligible, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. So with that out of the way, I can't wait to get to, into some of these cooler weather scents because when it does cool down, this is kind of the opportunity that I take the most pride in as far as wearing niche scents. A lot of syrupy, woody, oriental offerings I find kind of exciting. So let's just jump into some of these right here. And this year we're going to start with something that will almost always make my fall lists. This one's called Iris Fauve by Atelier des Ors. Now I said this last year of this scent, and it's because of this scent that I no longer own Bois d'Argent by Christine Dior. I think this is a way more flattering take on myrrh and iris, hence the name Iris Fauve. Like iris-wise, the way it kind of hugs my nose, it just feels more luxurious. The myrrh here and the resins just kind of evoke this old world kind of biblical sense of luxury as well. But yeah, I just can't say enough about the scent. Iris was one of my favorite notes, hence this is one of my favorite fragrances. So when I'm feeling my best for some of my most esteemed occasions during the season, you best believe I'm gonna be reaching for this one. Again, by Atelier des Ors, it's called Iris Fauve. Next up, we have another mainstay of my fall list. This one is called Like This by Italie Berderange. And this one, of course, is a collaboration with Tilda Swinton, the famous actress from Scotland, who wanted to channel something that is kind of like cozy, like apparently how she used to grow up. You have that caramelized floral in Immortelle, which is exceptionally lovely, with notes like uh, mandarin, as well as heliotrope, which is kind of like a vanillic floral. Of course, this fragrance is definitely characterized by that pumpkin note as well, so it doesn't get much more fall than that. So it's kind of equal parts herby and gourmand and sweet in a pumpkin-y type of way. And I'm not the biggest pumpkin fan of anything taste-wise personally, but as far as its scent, I think it's definitely delectable here. So for my casual, easy-going settings this fall, of course, I'm always going to rock this. You know what it is. It's a tally Berger's like this. Now, speaking of something that's definitely full-blown gourmand, we have this right here. It's called Keep Glaze in collaboration with Ksenia Penkina by the House of Oud or Thu. And this kind of comes off as this glazed lemon cake and that's pretty much all I get from it. Definitely more citrusy at the head at first, but it just keeps getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and just more pastry-like towards the end of it. And honestly, with how bright it is at first when you do spray this, I thought I could get away with smelling this and wearing it uh, kind of like during the last part of the summer. You know when it's still super hot, but it kind of cools down ASAP around 7, 8 p.m. But I still felt like this performed a little bit too well for a setting like that. Now that we're more balls deep in the fall, I feel like I can easily rock this now. So when I want a full-blown gourmand scent, I don't know where else to look but here. And if you also like gourmands, ones that don't exactly lean syrupy, but in more of a pastry direction, I think this is something you definitely want to check out. Again, by Thu slash the House of Oud, we have Keep Glazed. But it wouldn't be a Cascade Scents fall list unless we were to throw in some more traditional florals. So here we go. This one is called Jewelry by Kajal. Now, Jewelry is different because it's characterized as a rose fragrance, especially with that lid right there, but it actually doesn't smell too rosy in my opinion. And this is not a knock against this fragrance, or maybe it might be a knock if you are are really into rose and want another rose type of fragrance for the fall but I would actually characterize this as kind of like an entry-level rose not as far as price point and quality but rather as in maybe you're not really into that note and you kind of want to usher yourself into this rose and pretty much others because while this fragrance hits your nose like rose what I predominantly get out of it are the more syrupy slash gourmandy offerings you get lots of nutmeg lots of cinnamon you know some of the spices that you aren't averse to eating lots of honey as well in the base so with my kind of acidic pH levels of course I'm gonna get a lot of that but this is just warm spices galore and honestly I think that is an awesome sensation for this fall of course so all in all I would describe this fragrance as an entry-level kind of rose but with a spicy and gourmand twist as well so if you want to dive into rose but you want something that isn't stuffy but something that you're maybe more familiar with especially for the fall definitely check this out if you've yet to again it's called jewelry by Kajal deadass I can't 
get over how fall this stuff smells. Next up, speaking of safe florals, I have another one. This one is called Kintsugi by Mask Milano. And this brand is typically known for their Hello Artsy offerings, but this one right here I think is a really easy wear. Mainly characterized with that really wet magnolia at the top, which I think sets the tone for the rest of the fragrance here. You also have this smooth suede note, which I think is perfect for this time of the year, but doesn't lean animalistic like some leathers do. It's quote unquote just right. So here you have the broken elements of a Shepra of old, if you are familiar with that note breakdown for a fragrance, but kind of laced together with that aforementioned suede note that kind of just holds everything together. So if you have any idea what Kintsugi is as far as Japan is concerned, it's when you take that gold infused lacquer and use that to mend together like pottery. So picture the magnolia and the prettier elements kind of being broken and then using the suede base as something to hold it together again. So all in all, it's my token pretty scent for the fall. So when I feel like spraying something, I just want to have this kind of smile slash smirk on my face, then this is the one I'm going to reach for. Also, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, which I think is awesome. Again, it's Kintsugi by Mask Milano. But last but not least, we have my everyday scent here. This one is called Uden Overdose by Zerzhov. Honestly, guys, if I'm feeling myself and I don't know what to reach for as of the aforementioned five fragrances, well, I'm probably gonna reach for this one in Uden Overdose by Zerzhov. If you're a fan of the previous Uden DNA, but want something that is a little bit more enveloping as far as its scent cloud, then this one might be the one for you. The way the tobacco blossom hits my nose here whenever I'm wearing it or whenever people come into my scent cloud, they're just over the moon when they get that whiff. Like it's one thing to compliment you on how nice you smell, but when they dead ass ask you what it is, that means they might consider it for themselves. And I think that's like the most flattering kind of compliment ever. And I pretty much get that at least once every time I wear this stuff right here. So I personally love that on top of being able to dress it up and down regardless of whatever. It also doesn't scream too fall for me. I can definitely easily see myself wear this for the spring or maybe cooler summer days or maybe warmer fall days. It's definitely just one of those jack of all trades niche fragrances which you don't really see in niche because niche fragrances tend to kind of just want to channel this story and as a result signature scent quality which is not always on the docket for niche is kind of just thrown by the wayside but I definitely don't feel like that's the case here so I personally love this for that in Uden Overdose and that's why it caps off this fall list for 2019 so there it is for them I think that about does it for my fall fragrances this year if you have any suggestions or if you want to let me know what you're wearing please let me know in the comment section below again as always please be sure to like subscribe and comment just so you'll be eligible for a niche fragrance sample pack giveaway and if you've yet to please be sure to check out my designer picks for this fall as well which i'll leave in the description below but until then i think that about does it for me forum again thank you as always for your time take care peace out bye wear your fragrances